Hi, welcome to my channel. Good morning. My name is Gia and I am a reseller and I like to um, buy things from Japan, some Louis Vuitton bags, designer handbags. I also buy hard goods, clothing. I put it on Poshmark, Macari, and I do put some on eBay. Um, I, I cross list some of the times, not all the time, but um, today I'm going to unveil, <laughs> just got this in right now from I think DHL, and I have no idea what they are. So I so last today's uh, today's Wednesday on um, Thursday, April seventh, and on Sunday I bought a bunch of Louis Vuitton items from a Japan reseller, and I'm getting them in slowly. So I'm going to probably have to cut this video. Um, I'm gonna have to stop the video once I've done opening this, and then probably because it's in the morning, it's early in the morning. These were just delivered. But in the afternoon, hopefully I'll get more because it does say that I'm, I'm, some stuff is arriving early. Because it, 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 sometimes, just so you know, when you buy from these sellers from Japan, when they ship it out, it'll say like two weeks out. But I'm literally getting them days later. And then I'll get something from DHL saying, when you check the tracking, um, arriving early. At first, it won't say that. But once you see that it hit, that it cleared customs, and it's, I, I live in California, so when I see that it clear customs in Los Angeles, and then Ontario would be their next um, facility, and I live in Palm Springs, so if anybody lives in California, you know that, you know, there's Los Angeles, Ontario is a pretty big um, city where they have an international airport there as well, and then about an hour and a half away from that is um, Palm Springs, so I'm about three hours from downtown LA. So when I see DHL saying that it cleared customs and they're leaving the LA facility, it literally like a couple hours later, it'll say in Ontario. So I know that I'll most likely get it the next day. So just know your routes, know where your, the facilities are in your area. So when you start buying these items and you see it, the tracking, even though it says like mine said, it wouldn't come in until April 21st. I'm like, April 21st, that seems so long. But it, I actually got it. Um, I got that notification and then the next day it said arriving early. <laughs> so um, so just, you know, uh, check on that for your, like the local facilities. Um, they do send them um, FedEx, um, international shipping, that comes really quick. DHL's pretty quick. Um, but at the FedEx international shipping is, seems to be a little faster to get here. So when you are buying these things and they're telling you how they're gonna ship, you kind of know what your timeline is for that. So I'm gonna open these and then I'm going to wait to get more, hopefully get more today, and then I can open that and then I can show you what else I got. Now I spent, I just added everything up last night because I wanted to know what my numbers were, which is very important to keep, you know, uh, a print out every time you buy something and then you circle, you know, like this is what, you can put it in your um, computer. You have software for that as well, but um, I, I don't do that. I probably will once I start selling a lot more, but right now I just print it out and then, you know, I list it and then if it sells, I put it on that paper and I put it in a file. That way I just know that I bought it for this price. I sold, sold it for this price and after fees and everything, I made this. And, and eBay, Macari, Poshmark, they have that for you as well for the end of the year for your taxes. So, but I like to just know what I'm making every month in profit. So that's why I do that. And um, so I added everything up and it said <laughs> after everything that I spent about just over $2,700. So I spent over $2,700 and I bought 10 LV bags, 10 locks and padlocks and keys and eight monogram Louis Vuitton wallets. So it's uh, 28 items um, are coming in. And like I said, these might, this might be my, my padlocks. I have no idea. This might be my wallets. I have no idea. Um, actually I bought more than that because I have eight monogram wallets I bought, but I also bought a zippy wallet a Bernice Zippy wallet, and I didn't put that down here. So I actually, 
um, I actually bought more. So uh, probably nine wallets. I got to recount. I, it was like one in the morning when I was adding all this up. So we're going to get started. Um, welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys enjoy the unveiling and unwrapping of um, these Louis Vuitton items. And I did a video yesterday and I told you guys I put the link below to the seller that, not all the sellers, because there's more than one seller I use, but the seller that I really enjoy the most because of his shipping and the way he packages it and everything and he's pretty fair in his prices. But I did put that link on that video. So you're gonna have to watch that video and also go there and look in the, below, then it'll give you the link to his store. And if you wanna message him or anything, you can. Um, not everything on there is going to be at a very low price because some are for him are um, better condition. And then there's some that he does get rid of that are junk. So you want to, and he'll put them in, in a, a lot and then he'll auction that off. So you want to look out for that too. And he usually does it once a week. He'll, um, so usually it'll be like six days on an auction and it seems like every Sunday around 7 p.m. that's when it starts closing, and um, that's that's and then I usually like get my stuff by Wednesday Thursday of the next week, so that's pretty good. So we're gonna open this up and see what they are. I don't know if it's from that seller, but you can go to that video to get to go to his store. I also put my Poshmark closet on there, so if you see anything that you like, you can actually go there and buy it. And um, I did do another video for Spotify because I told you if, you if you actually subscribe to my channel, you'll see that I, I did a Spotify how to make money uh, with Spotify. And so I put a link to that as well on the other video. So, um, so here we go on this. And like I said, hit the subscriber button, uh, hit the like button, and uh, hopefully, you guys will find value in the things that I am putting on here. So, I don't know, hard to open. Okay, here we go. So this, they gave me, this is the eight monogram Louis Vuitton wallets. And I like that they, some of them don't even put this in there, but he actually put that in there and, and it's at the price and everything else. Um, so, which I paid $355 for these, but I also do my research before I did because it gets so many days before the auction closes and I know what, what I'm gonna go up to in price and uh, what they're selling for and how quickly they're selling. Because sometimes it'll say sold six months ago, sold four months ago. And some will, you know, if you go to Poshmark and McCarty, especially McCarty, I'll tell you. Um, but these were saying that they sold, you know, 15 hours ago, one day ago, two days ago, three days so ago. So you know that they're selling quickly. So I have no worries that these are going to sell quickly. And they weren't in the best condition. You know, because these are pre-loved and they're well aware of it. So when the, you know, when the buyers are buying on Macari and stuff. So I have eight. I got eight wallets. So here's the wallet. Don't look bad. Some of the ends. Or, you know, like I said, just a little worn or a little they fray a little bit. Louis Vuitton. I mean, it, actually, this is what I'm saying. They call it junk, but really, it's in, they're not in bad condition. You clean it up, maybe do some leather conditioning to it. Um, and like I said in my other uh, videos, I showed how to clean your canvas and bags and what products to use. So there's there's one. I'll go over it really quick. I have two, we have these two. That one, that one. I mean, these are, 
I'm going to list these today. Today. I'm going to list all of them for 160 Maybe even 180 Because after fees, I mean, I like to get 160 This one has a little bit of, as you can see, the ends. So some of them, I might like might do this one for like 120 I'm going to put on Macari first. I try to do it the first day Macari because they have their fees are a lot less than Poshmark. If this is not sell or get a lot of likes so I can give them an offer within like two days, then I'll start putting, not all, but some on Poshmark, but not all of them. And then sometimes I then just sell them or I could put half and half but um, I would then sell this for more. I would sell it probably for 220, just because of the fees that they charge 20% on Poshmark. So there's the beautiful, this is the eighth one. So they're pretty good. You got the Louis Vuitton zip pull. This is actually a really good one. There's like nothing wrong. I don't really, this I would not consider junk, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, some people, yeah, you know, they want brand new. That's great. You're going to pay more for it. Or, you know, like the canvas looks great. There's no rips. It's actually pretty clean. But he puts it as junk uh, Louis Vuitton when he sells this. And because, you know, in Japan, they're very proud of their stuff when they sell. And um, so to them, this is what they would consider junk. To us, it'd be like, well, it's not so bad. <laughs> and it's still, you're making money. So I have eight, and um, I don't have my calculator, but if I did, let's just say $200. So if I did it at 200 times eight, that's 1,600. I paid $355. You see where the profit is, and they go quickly. So I spent total of 2,900, um, what is it, $2,700. And if I sell these and make $1,200, I'm, I'm applying that 1200 to the 27 so I can get that money um, paid back to me so it doesn't hurt my bank account. And then everything, once I hit $2,700, everything else is gonna be profit. Or you can do it the other way where you can do divide by eight um, from the 200 and then what you paid for it individually, which is, I think was like $52, I think it was per wallet, and if you made 150, then you're gonna pay yourself $98 now and put that back in your other account that you paid into it. You could do it either way. Um, I normally do it that way, but when I get by such a large amount, I mean, $2,700 is a lot. I'm like, that's a lot of money to just like let it sit there and uh, separate it individually of the profit. So. If this sells, I'm gonna just put it back in my account and because I have so much more. Because remember, that was eight. I have an extra wallet coming in, the Vernie's Zippy wallet. And then I still have 10 locks, which I told you, I think on the last video, if you watched it, what I'm gonna do with those. And then 10 bags. One of them came in yesterday and I did the unveiling of that. Um, that was the travel bag. That was the, the Cerise 50 um, three zipper compartment travel bag. I just listed that and I'm probably going to have a split screen right now of this. I um, unboxed this yesterday, got this from Japan, paid $388 and I'm, I just listed it for $1,200. Now their pictures, I used their pictures before and I posted on Poshmark before I got it. When I got it, it just looks so much better in person, obviously. So I took pictures last night and I, I just changed out the pictures from my Poshmark. I just listed on Macari today, this morning. And um, I mean, it's, as you can see here, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful bag. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the link to my Poshmark and Macari, and then you can go from there. Okay. So here's, I don't know what's in here. Aha, finally. I'm actually excited because I can do what I said I was going to do with these. And always keep your boxes and all the stuff that you get because if you want to reuse it, you know, because once again, 
you're gonna buy something it comes in a box already all wrapped up and nice and then you list it you put take the pictures and then wrap it back up nicely put you know put it on the front you know Louis Vuitton and just whatever it is because when you put the shipping label it'll go right over it and it's you know it's already and then it's already boxed up and ready to go and so that just all you need is a shipping label and it's easier to do that especially when you start getting a bunch of stuff you don't want to not um, you know package them back up after you take all the pictures and everything and take a lot of pictures that way if you need to change them out or if someone says hey can you send me some more pictures you'll have more pictures you don't have to reopen your your box and and it's a lot faster when you start closing on these especially like these eight I'm going to package them up and that way when they start selling all I got to do is put the shipping label on so easy and done and I sent give it over to my my mailman he comes around 11 o'clock in the morning so I hopefully like to try to get you know all that done and and give to him I just hand it over to him when he goes to my mailbox and if I happen to miss him and I'm going to be out and about then I just package them up uh, or I just take the packages and put the shipping label and I go to the mailbox or the post office um, because I'm always trying to ship quickly to my buyers. I don't like when I buy something and I see two days later and it says not shipped yet and they printed the label, but it's just sitting there. It really just, it bothers me because I, I try to ship same day. I try to give that service to my clients same day because they'll come back. They'll know that, Hey, you know what? Just like I said about the Japan reseller, like I love the way how quickly the shipping um, products come in. I love how he packages it. It means a lot when you are buying the stuff and reselling it. So um, this one is the locks and keys. Now, if you go to Poshmark, these locks and keys, depending on how, you know how how clean or what the condition are. Um, you know, they go for 80 to over a hundred dollars. Now I have 10 of them. I got 10 of these. So even if I sold them at a hundred and some of them are over a hundred, just like I said, just depending, but you know, um, I'd say low 79 is probably one of the lowest I've seen, but I'll just say a hundred just because I don't have a calculator on me a hundred times 10, that's $1,000. Now I bought these for, oh my God, I think I said it yesterday, I didn't write it down. Um, I'm gonna say 300, 288, I don't remember now. Um, I, I'll put it up there, you'll see the price <laughs> um, of what I bought these for. But anyway, so let's open them up and I'm just gonna put that lower. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through all 10 of them. But here they are. So you see it. So, and then of course the numbers, they're all numbered. So they're not, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. Um, I have 10 of them. So what I was gonna do, let me, I wasn't planning on doing this, but just to give you an idea, just to give you an idea, because like remember I said, I wasn't, I might sell one or two separately, but I notice they stay on a little longer and I don't want it to sit. I want to sell so I can move on and make more money. So what I'm gonna do, that wasn't what I was looking for, just open the wrong one. What I'm gonna do, is put it um, this one seems like it's too much okay so I bought a bunch of chains like this okay and what people are doing is they're cutting this part and then they're putting the Louis Vuitton actually I'll show you right now because actually I don't even need to cut this one but I am because I'm going to I should do it a different way. But now we have a chain. Look how easy that was. And I have a website that I will put a link to that their chains, I mean, obviously they're not, they're not quality chains, 
but the ones that are selling are not quality chains on Poshmark. They're just selling unbranded chain like this, but they add the Louis Vuitton and then they're selling for like $159 to over $200 because you added the chain. So that way, as you can see, people want to put it on their as a necklace. So I got 10 of these to do that. I got 10 of these to do that. So, um, and sometimes they put the key, just so you know, and they get the, one of these, this is too big, but something like this, but a little bit smaller, which I have. And then they add that and they put it like this. So now you have it hanging the lock here and then the key there. It just depends how you, you do it. But look on Poshmark, look on Macari, and you'll see these. Just Louis Vuitton padlock necklace. And you'll see what they're selling for. And then you for Poshmark, you can go to status and hit sold and scroll and see what, what they sold for. And you'll be amazed. Um, I bought a bunch of different chains, like I was saying in my last video, that I'm going to um, see the difference of the quality compared to what I'm paid for this. Like this, this one, I paid too much, I think, because it was the first one I bought. Because it came like this, which I think it looks ugly, but in the picture, it actually looked really pretty. Some people like that, you know, the multi, multi um, layered. I, I don't like it now that I see it in person. So I probably won't be buying any more of those. But they do have them where it's only two. So you have one and then two, and then you put that lock there. And it looks really beautiful. And then I have them that just by itself. And I'm just gonna sell them like that. I'm probably gonna sell them for like 159, which 159 times 10 is $1,590. So just these locks and these eight almost paid for my $2,700, right? I mean, it's like 2,500 or something like that. 15 and 12, yeah, 50, I just, well, wait a minute, 15 and 12, that is 2,700. So I actually, if I can sell these for 159 and sell these at, I said 200, now problem, well, after fees, obviously I'm not making that profit. So I'm not gonna say 2,700, but I'm getting pretty damn close to um, what I paid for everything. And guess what I still have coming in? 10 Louis Vuitton handbags and one more wallet. So I have 11 more items coming in. So all that is profit. I'm looking, hopefully, depending on the quality when I get them in, um, what I'm gonna do with them in like cleaning it or adding something like a hardware and extra. I, I did buy some of those little pom-pom, little furry things, key holders so you can put on your bag. Um, I got them for a dollar, dollar fifty on some of them. So I paid, I bought so many, I don't remember how many I bought, but I bought different colors and some of them had like the little cat peeking up in the pom pom. So you add you just little things like that, adding to your bag and then it's all about presentation. It's all about present, I do real estate. So it's all about presentation, how you take the pictures and stuff. So the pictures are everything. So when you have these added things to it, people are going, okay, yours is gonna stand out because people are gonna start scrolling and see two of the same bags, two of the same quality, and one's a little more than the other. But if you have those extra things that cost a couple bucks um, and you just added it on, they're gonna choose yours over the other one because they're getting more for their money. So keep that in mind. I will put that link to it. I, I forgot the name of the website. I found them yesterday. I ordered a bunch of the little pom-poms. I've ordered a lot of the chains. Um, they were they were not expensive at all, but um, like I said, if you go onto Poshmark and you look under sold of this with the chain, you will see that those chains are the same things I'm buying. Um, that's how they get them, but they're getting this, and this is already almost $100, so now they just got like a necklace instead. Um, I'm also going to make earrings. I know I was watching my video yesterday as I was editing, you guys are probably thinking, are you making earrings out of the canvas? 
believe me, last year was, I guess, a big thing. And they were getting $60. And some people were just cutting it with scissors. Um, this year, they're getting only like $13 to $20. Because a lot of people are trying to do it. They're up, upcycling the old canvas bags. And they're cutting them up. And, um, and then making those earrings. And that's why I bought this which are the hooks. So then you just make the little hole into the, you know, you can do a teardrop. Um, I, I, I actually went on Amazon and I got cutouts. So that way I can go to my canvas. I'm gonna cut an old Louis Vuitton bag, get the canvas, and then I'm gonna make a bunch from that huge canvas, um, you know, uh, material. And then I'm gonna, it's so easy. And once you, you have those cutouts, the cutouts are not that expensive, but I paid probably $270 on Amazon. I could probably go somewhere else for cheaper, but I paid $270 on Amazon to buy these cutouts, to buy all the tools that I need to do that, to buy these um, little things that you can put at the end of your, um, for the straps. Um, for, I also got um, the, the straps, the crossbody straps so that this can go with it. And now my old bags that um, the handles are really worn or ripped, I could take that off and then put the, the gold plated um, straps that people can use for a crossbody. And it makes a huge difference. That is, that right now that's really in. You need to see what is trending and that is what is trending right now. Um, the speedies are selling. Um, so, I mean, the crossbodies, the speedies, the Amazon, Amazonian or an Amazon, I don't even know. It's Amazon with an E at the end. I bought, I actually bought yesterday um, five in a lot, which goes with the $2,700 that I spent. And there was one in that one in, um, of the five. And that one I'm going, it looks, it doesn't look bad. And it's coming from Japan. Doesn't look bad. And those are selling for like three to $650 for the vintage. So um, I, I paid for all of all of that 400 and something dollars. So just one bag is going to pay for my whole lot and I'll still have four more. So you have to really look at buying in lots and find these, these sellers from Japan. I gave you guys one. The other ones I'm not sure of yet because I just found them and I'm just, I haven't gotten their products in yet. I'm going to be getting them in the next couple days. I don't know if they're horrible or not, so we'll review that. And if they're good, they're a little slow on their shipping. It's not really not slow. They're still I'm still getting it in a week, but um, that way, then I'll put it on the link below. That way, you guys then can go and see for yourself. I don't like to give things that I haven't tried yet, and then you guys fail, I, or you guys are disappointed in the product or the quality of the product. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to now. Um, Wait for the more to come in, whatever comes in. And in the meantime, while that's, while that's um, doing that, I'm going to work on my eight wallets and get them listed, wipe them down, clean them, and then get them listed. And let's see if any of them sell before um, the end of today when I finish this video with the other stuff coming in. Okay, so once again, hit the subscriber button and um, I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay, bye. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> um, okay, so it's like three o'clock now and I got three more packages in. So I'm gonna open them real quick. I've been literally, I was went to bed at two in the morning and I was up at seven. So I got five hours of sleep, which is okay. And then I, <laughs> I was researching and adding up everything, like I said, of everything I paid for. Then I had the delivery first thing in the morning. It was really early. It was like in the eight o'clock hour. So then from there, I went and I then did the video. As soon as I finished that video to be continued for these packages for later today, I've been doing real estate all day. I've been on the phone nonstop all day. So... I'm a little tired, I'm a little worn down right now, but I, I'm gonna open these three packages that I got. And then I just wanted, during that time, I, I came across another idea for my wallets that I was showing you earlier. Um, so I'm gonna probably do a split screen of the idea. And isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? So that's this wallet with a 47 inch chain 
and those chains you can buy for like ten dollars so instead of sell, buying or selling this for you know 120 140 160 up to 200 dollars i now can list it with the ten dollar added chain for three hundred dollars um three of them went on the, on today on macari and they sold within hours so I went and just ordered the grommets. So you're going to put two grommets right here. And I'm going to do a video on that. So that way you guys can see it. So when I get them into, they come in tomorrow, I'm going to put the two grommets here. And I ordered the chain as well. So I could try one out. I ordered other chains too, but they're not coming in for a couple of weeks. But this Amazon one I paid, I paid so I can get it tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to put it here. And I already have, not, don't, don't mind this chain. But I already have this part, so that I need two of these, and I'm gonna put it here when the grommets come in tomorrow, and then I'm gonna list it, and I'll probably sell it that day. So they're selling um, one so I, but three of them sold, same seller, put it on Macari, and sold all of them within an hour of each other. So um, and I think I, I don't have it in front of me. I'll probably put it up, but it's. Like 249 and one like 279 the other one 299 and they all sold so i have eight of them so i'm gonna put eight chains on this with the grommets the grommets didn't cost that much the grommets i think were like also ten dollars but it wasn't just two grommets i actually got like 12 grommets with the d-ring so actually i could do six of them for that for that ten dollars so this is what i mean you if you think about adding stuff to your louis vuitton um accessories wallets handbags the ones that are older pre-loved um it makes a huge difference to update them right now the the gold plated chains um on anything this could be a crossbody. now i'm going to make it and it's going to be besides now the wallet now you can use it put all your stuff in and then use it as the crossbody. so i wanted to go over that and just tell you that because i i thought that i that's what i'm going to do with these and um, I would definitely do um, a sold on everything I sold and how long it took and the profit. So that way you guys know. But if you are creative in that way and you like doing that, go to Amazon. They're like, I think it's grommets with D, uh, D rings. I believe that's what it's called. I might even put the link below. Pick those up. Um, you just need a hole puncher that you can get at the store. You can even order one on Amazon. Put the hole puncher, put the grommets in, and then then do whatever everything you need to do to put these on and then add the chain. I mean, it's very simple. Literally will take probably five minutes and um, you'll get more money for it. You're gonna get $100 more um, per item from doing that. So if you guys wanna start doing that instead of maybe buying the bigger bags and selling one individual bag, that might be something you may want to start looking for for the Louis Vuitton monogram on uh, long wallets and then um, and start selling, start making money. So this one, so we're going to open them up. They just, these ones just came in. I have no idea what they are. They're all from different sellers because if it's from the same seller, he would put it in the same box. So, and I have my dog here and I think he wants outside. Um, but it's so hot right now. I'm gonna keep them in here. So if you hear little things walking around, that's my dog. Okay, so like I said, try to keep everything how they did it so you can actually put it to the same way. So this is the Amazonian Louis Vuitton bag. And it's a little dirty and a little worn. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up and put the leather conditioner. I'm also going to put Brasso on the on the hardware here so it can look new. It is missing, as you can see here, the pull tab, the hardware pull tab. This is a little, as you can see, this one is probably one of the worst ones I've gotten, but it's still not bad because these still sell for like $450, $500, $600. Um, some people even change out the strap. And I may change out the strap because I might use this strap for another handbag. 
and then put the put like a newer uh, strap on. I don't know yet. So that I'm going to figure out. But so this one, and I don't remember what I bought this for, less than $200. And I'm going to, once I clean it up and everything, I'm going to um, sell it for probably like $450. And so here's the inside. Not bad. Let's see Louis Vuitton. I don't know if you can see it. And then on here, zipper's a little sticky here. And then you have that inside. So I'm gonna clean it up, but I do like it. I'm very happy of my purchase because you cannot go to Poshmark and find one for under $200. So make this look newer. So I'm really excited to like show you guys uh, the before and after once it's cleaned up or what I decide if I wanna add new hardware or whatever I'm gonna do to it. So I'll probably work on that maybe this weekend. Um, definitely tomorrow, at least on the wallets because that's gonna be a quick um, redo or upcycle and then and then put it on Macari. Like I said, if you're interested in any of my stuff, I'll put the link for Macari and Poshmark. It may be also on Poshmark, but we should see. So this stuff actually is not Louis Vuitton. This is for the, all the Amazon, no, I'm sorry, yeah, the Amazon stuff that I bought. Now I told you I was, here are the cutouts. So I probably would use this one. Um, then you, lay down your canvas and then you go over it um, with a block and then you hit down and then it just makes your, your cutout that shape. Just gonna get this and then I can make a bunch um, from the canvas, the old um, pre-loved canvas bags for Louis Vuitton and then just do them and then put the hole, put a hole right there once it's done. And then like I said, I have this to then hang it. And if you go onto Poshmark, if you think that's silly or you can't imagine or understand what I'm talking about, if you go to Poshmark and you type in Louis Vuitton upcycle earrings or monogram earrings, you will then, and then go to sold. And there might be some available, but if you go to sold then and you scroll, you will see them and you'll see what I'm talking about. You can tell that some people look like they just got a, they got scissors. <laughs> and just started cutting. They don't look shaped right. I, so I got these as well, which I'm also gonna do besides earrings. I'm going to, I have this. Now, if you're going, what is that? That is, it's a key ring and it's a, um, it's the clasp. So you can cut out this width for, um, Sorry here. Uh, if you cut out this width here of a Louis Vuitton strip and then put, which I actually bought another cutout for that and then you just fold it and you put the clasp. Now you're selling an authentic Louis Vuitton uh, keychain, <laughs> and they sell, they sell. Look that up too on Poshmark and you'll see it and you'll be amazed. So, and these didn't cost a lot of money and look how much I get. So, I mean, my first time startup costs on these um, will last a long time and you definitely get my money back and make a profit. So I wanted to make sure you guys saw these things because this is the tools that you are gonna need if you're going to go that route. Um, so when you do that and you cut out like i said you have to make a hole for the earring so i bought this and if you can see there's a metal piece right there see that so when you make the earring hole it just goes like that so it's a very quick this is also going to be once you have your you your cutouts and your canvas and you make the cutouts and then you make the hole i don't know if you can see it here if i should put it i don't know if you could see it but there's the hole or the little thing for to make the hole. Um, it's quick. And then you put your little earring hooks in and then display it <laughs> and start selling. 
So that is another thing I bought. And I have, I do have another Louis Vuitton bag, but I just want, uh, I open this first. And then this one right here, I'm not even gonna open it, but this right here is for um, this. So when you, <clears throat> you need a certain clamp for these end clamps, clamp, a clamping tool for these end clamps so they go into the leather, you use this, you put it in there and then you just, you squeeze and it goes right into the leather and it stays there. So crickets, usually if you have a cricket, they have a mat, it's like a measuring mat and stuff. Well, this one is the same thing. This is a measuring mat for if I do any of my measurements for my um, earrings, I can actually put them on here. I don't really need to if I have them going the other route, but I got this and it came with this. And these are cutting tools for your leather. So this is a, le like a leather kit cutting tools. And what it'll do is just say, see like precise, like utility knives. Um, it has a bunch of stuff in here. I'm not gonna go through all of them. But that with this, so just in case, say I do, do use the cutout and it doesn't look perfect, I have this stuff to make it look perfect. So this one, I have no idea. I, I think it's the Speedy 35. Okay, so I'm gonna say, yes, it is the Speedy. So it's a Speedy 35 and it was in bad shape, but I actually was buying it because I wasn't 100% decided yet if I was going to use this as the canvas to do all my stuff I told you about because like the hardware and stuff was really bad, but the canvas was still in good condition. And I thought, okay, I could do a lot with this canvas. I can make a lot of earrings and keychains and make more than the $200. I mean, the keychains I believe were selling for like, I wanna say maybe $79 to a hundred. And they were literally like this long. They're not long at all and thin. And I got a cut out for that, which is, I think, coming tomorrow. So it's going to be easy. But here is this, this, the Speedy 35. And it's not in bad shape, except like the handles are, you know, they're a little old. I mean, it, you know, leather conditioner always helps, but it's not too bad. It really isn't. I mean, I could try to sell it for double my money. But, um... You know, this looks kind of worn, but everything else uh, looks like a little, a little worn. Sorry, I'm just really tired right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so then the inside, the inside, let's see. And then it has the pocket. Louis Vuitton hardware, but here's the, here's the date code. And this says, it was made in October 92. So it's a nice size. I love it. Actually this, these, this is one bag. Actually the reason I got these, both these bags, as you can see, is because they sell quickly. They are still popular. You know, they, they have videos out there of like what sells and what handbags are good, what handbags are not good for Louis Vuitton. These two are are good, great sellers. So your your Speedy 35, your, you know, your 40, um, your Amazonian or whatever it's called, <laughs> um, is they sell. So I am going to probably clean them up and use the brass soap for all the hardware and then um, list it. If I do not sell this Speedy 35 in one week, I'm only giving it one week, I am going to, and I will do a video on that. Don't be upset people, but I am going to 
take it apart. I'm going to take it apart and use the canvas for repurposing of other, other things. And what another thing people do, and I'll put it, I mean, I'll, I'll do split screens as I'm talking. I, right now, I don't even know what the sp split screen of pictures I'm gonna show you, but the ideas of other people, what they've used. Sometimes they only get the Louis Vuitton, the LV, the LV, right? And they'll cut them um, a patch. And you see on Poshmark all the time. This is great for resellers to know. And they'll use that patch and they'll put it on a beanie. They'll put it on um, another beautiful handbag and they'll put it right in the front and they'll make a little design, maybe rhinestones around that. So, you know, around the, the, the ends of where you cut and they, and they put it in and people are buying them for several hundred dollars just because it has the LV stamp on it. So um, that might be something you may be interested in. You may have a couple old handbags or that um, you wanna repurpose or they look nice and you just wanna like, you know, you can add the, the LV, the LV to it, a nice, you know, nice uh, square patch. There's a lot of, on here. That's a lot of patches to put on your handbags to repurpose and then put it as a upcycle Louis Vuitton um, bag and then say what the bag is. This is a um, cowhide bag with the repurpose of the Louis Vuitton and people buy them. It's crazy, people buy them. So I'm actually, I love this bag. <laughs> um, you know, as I get them, it's like nice to know, like I'd love to, you know, keep it. But look. You can see, you know, there you go. Looks a little nicer there when you got your stuff in it. But um, anyway, so that's the unboxing of so far of what I've gotten in for the stuff I bought this past weekend. I'm going to work on it. I will do some videos on that as the other ones come in. I will definitely um, do the unboxing of those. I have all that stuff. And I hope that you're enjoying this video because I know that I'm enjoying, you know, buying this, fixing them up, and then reselling them, seeing them on my on my Poshmark and Macari, all my listings, and start to see these beautiful things up there. If you have any questions, please comment below. Just, you know, anything about um, the bags today or um, any of the ideas I gave you for creating, you know, repurposing some of these bags or the canvas or how about how to go about doing that. I've had some, some subscribers comment to me about certain things and I, and I usually the next video, I link it below because I want to make sure that I'm right on top of everything for you guys. You ask for something and I'm going to answer it for you. So once again, if you find any value in this, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I will definitely see you soon. And I will be doing the how-to DIY tutorials on the before and after. And hopefully, you didn't, if you guys are starting to do that, comment below and tell me, I, I did this and I did sell this and it's working or whatever. It also motivates the other viewers out there to read that and go, hey, they're doing it and she did it and everyone's doing it and, you know, um, we can all be successful, right? So until next time, you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.